I'm Mike Elliott and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today we're joined by Mr. David Seelock. He's the CEO of Petrotech Energy, a fully integrated oil and gas company that trades under ticker PQEFF. Good morning, David. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Mike. Thank you for having us. We're excited about this segment because we're uh, honoring National Petroleum Day. And um, can you talk about the importance of, of that and, and what, uh, what it's all about? I think it's very significant, Mike. For over two centuries, we've been using petroleum, oil, and gas in some form or the other throughout history. But really, in 1859, uh, Edwin Drake actually went through the process of drilling down 70 feet in, in uh, Titusville, Pennsylvania, to produce the first oil and gas operations that we have in America. Over that 158 years, we've made tremendous steps in terms of increasing the efficiency in terms of producing oil and gas throughout North America and the world for that matter. We've become much more efficient in terms of less waste products, less greenhouse gas emissions, less water use. And our technology really aligns with that as well too. So the acknowledgement's very good in terms of aligning with that National Petroleum Day. Thank you. And David, tell us um, real quick about Petrotech and what the company's core focus is right now. Our core focus is mineable surface oil sands in Utah, converting that, converting that to energy. Our technology is a game-changing technology, Mike. It allows us to produce oil sands without water, reducing waste, reducing emissions, but more importantly, being a disruptor in terms of a technology that's always gone through the process of old conventional mining methods. We're very excited about being the front runner of this technology right now, Mike, and I think you're gonna see a strong, strong movement towards making sure that we do have stronger technology focus around surface oil sands mining, not only in Utah, but around the world for that matter. And so this new uh, proprietary environmentally safer method of extraction, can you briefly kind of uh, give us an overview of, of how it works without leaving this wastewater that everybody is, is so concerned about with traditional methods? I sure can, Mike. In the past, what they used to do is they used to use water to go through the process of extracting or disrupting the oil from the sands. As they went through that process of basically flashing that water off to steam, that conversion process disrupted the oil from the sands. Our process, Mike, basically goes through a solvent process. So with no water to additives, what we do is we basically have a reaction, a disruptive reaction with the solvents that basically disengages the oil from the sands. Our process, a closed loop environmentally friendly system, allows us to separate the hydrocarbons from the sands. We then push the sands out where we reduce, we, we basically take about 99% of the hydrocarbons out of our sands and we're left with a very, very rich heavy oil product. And that's exactly what the market's looking for right now. Well, I certainly would think so because there's been a lot of, uh, you know, there, that's been the number one complaints about uh, the oil sand or oil extraction from oil sands. Is this process more cost effective than uh, the regular method? Yes, Mike, it's much more cost effective. When you don't have the burden of making sure that you have water treatment built within your capital budgets, um, if you don't have waste cycles built within your capital budgets as we don't have to, there's a tremendous difference. Our capital cost is roughly about $10,000 per flowing barrel. When you take a look at other processes, the old conventional ways that go through the process of working with water, working with waste in a manner that they do, those costs can be sometimes four and five times as high as what we're looking at right now, Mike. So not only do we get the environmental efficiencies that you know the, the new generations are looking for in terms of oil development, what we do is we actually save a tremendous amount of capital expenditure in terms of implementing our technology. Well, that's very exciting from an investor standpoint because you're you're helping all these producers right now, which it's a very competitive environment. They're looking for ways to reduce costs. You've got a lot of pressure from environmentalists about the fracking in general. So you providing this new method of a cleaner extraction process that also costs less, uh, I think would be positioned to grab a lot of market share. And, and can this be used also to clean up um, waste from oil sands projects that use older methods? Yes, I, I think it's. I think it can work independently, Mike. But our technology can also integrate with other technologies in terms of remediation work. And when I think of remediation work, I take a look at old oil sands mining operations, even remediation around soil where petrochemicals or pet petroleum has been spilled into the soil. We can use that, but really it comes back down to recycling processes. Right now, we're working with a company in Georgia called Rastec, and we're taking a look at old asphalt shingles and extracting that asphalt bitumen from those shingles waste in terms of basically reusing that with new asphalt shingles. Our job is to make sure we're very efficient in terms of 
use, re reuse, reclamation, or remediation. I think this technology has got a tremendous advantage over some other technologies in terms of the scope of work it can do in the market. And can you give us a brief idea of just how big that, that uh, cleanup or remediation market is? Well, sadly to say, Mike, it's a, it is a billion dollar market, but it's a global market. When you take a look at, you know, they're estimating that somewhere between, you know, 40 and the $60 million or $60 billion Canadian is going to have to be spent to basically remediate the, you know, the waste tailing ponds that they have up there. But when you take a look at soil remediation around the world, Mike, it is a billion dollar market. Billions of dollars are being spent currently in terms of soil remediation. And again, our technology is fit for purpose in terms of basically going into some of, some of those areas that is petroleum specific. And we can basically work very well with that in terms of remediating those lands and extracting petroleum from those soils. And did Petrotech develop and do you, or do you guys own the uh, intellectual property for this proprietary process? Yes, we do, Mike. Um, our chief technology officer, Mr. Vladimir Podoliski, or Dr. Vladimir Podoliski, um, developed the, uh, developed the uh, uh, technology about 12 years ago. The foresight of our chairman and uh, CEO and uh, chairman and uh, founder of the company, Alex Bloomkin, seen the advantage of this. They took the IP, brought it to the U.S. Right now, the jurisdictions we have IP on, uh, Mike, is in the U.S., Canada, and Russia. We are looking at other areas in terms of, uh, um, of IPs. Uh, we just want to make sure that when we move into those jurisdictions, we're, doing, we're looking at asset opportunities and joint venture opportunities at the same time. And David, I, I know you guys had an, uh, unveiled uh, the plant in Vernal, Utah last month, and since then have announced that you've increased acreage and resources. Can you tell us the significance of that announcement? Well. Our plans are to be a major oil producer. What we look at here is that we're sitting on 87 million barrels of recoverable resource. But upon Asphalt Ridge, where we're sitting on uh, Temple Mountain, there's up to a billion barrels of recoverable resource that we can take a look at. We're very interested in terms of expanding our portfolio, either through new opportunities, new joint venture opportunities, or farm ins. So we think very highly of this technology, but we see where it's going to fit. And if the geology is there, we know that our technology is going to work. And David, I just want to wrap up. I mean, a lot of exciting things going on with Petrotech. And certainly, I don't think the timing could be better for, for everything this proprietary technology is offering to the petroleum industry. Um, what would you sum up as the main investment highlights that make Petrotech a, a, compel, a compelling investment right now? Well, when you take a look at conventional well operations, for example, Mike, their cash flow on that is probably going to be a three or four X. Because our facility is sitting on such massive resource and we have multi-decade production, we have unlimited cash flow in terms of basically having long-term cash flow over two decades. The next one is our asset. Quantified and qualified by Chapman Engineering, we have a very strong asset and we're in the process of trying to expand that in conversations with them, some very interested parties, but more importantly, our technology. Our technology is an enabler, Mike. It allows us to make sure that what we can do is basically produce at a very low capex, a very low opex, and get the results that we're looking for. So when you take a look at those three combinations of uh, you know asset or investment opportunity, Mike, that's what you want to take a look at in terms of investing in a company like this. And right now, there's not a lot of market share around disruptive technologies for surface mineable oil sands. So I think that you know we're very fortunate to be at the front of that race right now. Well, David, it was a pleasure having you on the show. I want to thank you again for your time. Really interesting story. And we're going to continue to follow Petrotech here on CEO Live. So uh, for those watching, stay tuned. And we hope to catch up with you again soon. And David, take care. Thank you very much, Mike. Have a great day. You too. You've been watching CEO Live TV, and we've been talking again to Mr. David Seelock, CEO of Petrotech Energy, a fully integrated oil and gas company that trades under ticker PQEFF. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.petrotech.energy. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.